Good afternoon, everybody! Before we start, I want you guys to open up the description of this video and subscribe to my brand new podcast, as well as follow my daily amazing fact account called The Fact Maniac. If you like podcasts, we have some really fun conversations over there. And if you like daily amazing facts, which is why you're here, of course, you're going to love the Fact Maniacs. So go check them out. Okay, now everybody has their own little weird things that they do. Maybe you're a furry or maybe you like sitting in a bathtub full of marinara sauce and pretending that you're a meatball. Whatever, I don't judge. But those weird intricacies don't stop just because you've reached the highest office in the land. That's right, many US presidents had some really bizarre secrets. And you're about to find out exactly what those are. Here are 10 presidents with weird hidden secrets. Number 10 is Ulysses S. Grant. When it comes to weird presidential secrets, Ulysses S. Grant is a great place to start. Cause he had a bunch of them. Grant is an iconic figure in American history. He became commanding general of the US Army, led campaigns during the Civil War, and he was the 18th president of the United States from 1869 until 1877. Even though he had a reputation as a brilliant general and soldier, he secretly hated wearing a uniform. In fact, he would secretly enter battle dressed really scruffily. And what's possibly even more surprising is that Grant was terrified at the sight of blood, which you'd think would be a real problem for someone involved in some of the bloodiest battles in United States history. On top of all that, he didn't have a middle name. That's right, even though people called him Ulysses S. Grant, the S was a typo which followed him every Everywhere. Man, that's a whole lot of weirdness. Being afraid of blood in a battle, that's like me being afraid of facts. Number one is ha ha! Number nine is Calvin Coolidge. According to the 1998 book White House Confidential, President Calvin Coolidge had a bizarre morning ritual which he kept secret due to the embarrassment surrounding this routine. Coolidge was the 30th president of the United States and served from August 1923 to March 1929. He was known as a man of decisive action and embodied the spirit and hopes of the middle class, but he also had a strange and kind of dark secret. In the morning, while he was having breakfast, he liked to have petroleum jelly massaged into his scalp. Oh yes, that makes me a happy president. Coolidge believed that there were massive health benefits to be gained from this strange practice, and so he continued it even though those around him looked on in disbelief. As vices go, it's weird, but it would have been much worse if he liked putting petroleum jelly on other people instead. Come here, staff members, I've got a treat for you. <laughs> Number eight is William Howard Taft. William Howard Taft served as the 27th president of the United States between 1909 and 1913. He's also the only person to have held both the office of the President of the United States and the Chief Justice of the entire country. Many of his policies involved intervening in foreign affairs in order to prop up governments which were sympathetic towards US interests. But despite having a long and successful political career, there's one embarrassing story that he wished had kept secret. Taft was known for being overweight and apparently one night in the White House after soaking in a bath, he was unable to get himself out. Oh, it shouldn't have had that extra turkey leg! After being stuck, it said that wherever the 350 pound Taft would go, an extra large bathtub would have to be readily available. Fun fact for all the viewers out there, no judgment, but if you ever get so big that you get stuck in a bathtub, time to make some life changes. Number seven is Lyndon Johnson. It's widely believed that President Lyndon Johnson, who served after John F. Kennedy's assassination in 1963, was obsessed with being the greatest president of all time. In fact, many believe that he was bitter towards his predecessor about how popular he was. This desire to be more popular and dominate people's opinions was evident in a number of strange behaviors that he exhibited. And he desperately wanted them kept from the public. For example, he often used crass behavior to shock people and intimidate them. This included spitting and swearing at people or just laughing in their faces. <laughs> it's said that he once even relieved himself on a secret service man. He would even often continue conversations by pulling people into the toilet with him so that they would have to watch as they continued the conversation. Classy. 
Number six is Andrew Jackson. Andrew Jackson was the seventh president of the United States and served between 1829 and 1837. He believed in fighting against a corrupt elite which endangered the Union. He also had a famous career as a general in the U.S. Army. But like the other presidents on this list, he had not so much a weird secret, but a dark secret. At that time, divorce was frowned upon and Jackson had married a divorcee named Rachel long before he took office. Not only was she divorced, but it was rumored that she and Jackson had had lived together before she was legally separated from her first husband. Newspapers jumped on this scandal and called her a bigamist and an adulteress, using the rumor to attack Jackson's run at the presidency. Rachel passed away three months before Jackson took office, and he always blamed his opponents for her death. Okay, that one was a lot more dark than weird, but still, at the time, considered very weird, and he definitely had a right to be salty. Number five is John Quincy Adams. John Quincy Adams was the sixth president of the United States and served from 1825 until 1829. He was an extremely successful politician, so as you might assume, he was pragmatic, down to earth, and not prone to flights of fancy, right? Yeah, I'm afraid not. The sixth president believed in a hollow earth theory, which argued that the earth had a huge cavern at its center. Not only that, but that there was also a giant hole at the North Pole, which led to this subterranean world. A world which John Quincy Adams also believed was inhabited by mole people. But you know, not the weird kind of mole people, more like the garden variety mole people. He actually at one point approved a secret expedition to find this underground world. Not only that, but he attempted to contact the hypothetical mole people that he believed lived down there in order to make sure that the United States was the first country to sign a trade agreement with them. America first! Number four is George Washington. As the first president of the United States, George Washington is held up by many as one of the greatest leaders the country has ever produced. That being said, he had a number of weird secrets that were only revealed after his death. One of these included that George Washington grew hemp. Now granted, this is the non-psychoactive form of cannabis. It was used to produce all manner of goods including rope and paper. However, it is now believed that George Washington also grew the psychoactive cannabis for his own recreational use. The idea that one of the country's most important founding fathers smoked cannabis recreationally remains a sore point for conservatives, who are against the legalization of cannabis, but who also hold the founding fathers in such high esteem. Get it? High esteem? <laughs> Pun life. Number three is George Bush Sr. One of the most bizarre diplomatic incidents which ever happened to a president definitely qualifies as a weird secret. I mean, after all, who would want everyone to know that they'd been sick on another world leader? Well, that's exactly what happened to George H.W. Bush. In 1992, President Bush attended an evening hosted by the Prime Minister of Japan. The room was filled with 135 other important diplomats who had been welcomed to the Japanese Prime Minister's home. But during the event, President Bush began to feel ill and actually collapsed. That's when his head fell into the lap of the Prime Minister and he threw up all over him. But this hot secret wasn't kept for very long and the Japanese coined the term Bush Suru, which means to do the Bush thing. Apparently the Bush thing is to throw up all over your host, so don't Bush shoot him. Number two is Ronald Reagan. We all know what it's like for family members to do something embarrassing, but for a world leader, such an event can cause real problems, and that's why they prefer to keep it a secret. And that's exactly what happened to Ronald Reagan. Reagan was the 40th president of the United States and served from 1981 to 1989. But just five years after his presidency ended, his own daughter, Patty Davis, became a Playboy Playmate. She posed on the front cover of Playboy magazine, and worse still, she posed nude. This was one of the most controversial issues in Playboy's history, and the Reagan estate has since tried to brush it under the carpet as best they can. But Ronald Reagan was actually lucky in a way that it didn't happen while he was the sitting president. Because at that time, that kind of a scandal would have tarnished his polished family man demeanor. Hello everyone, I'm the president. Yes, this is my daughter whose boobies you can freely see right now in a magazine. Lunch? And number one is Jimmy Carter. Jimmy Carter was the president between 1977 and 1981. 
He achieved a lot in his life, including being awarded the Nobel Peace Prize and helping to fight debilitating illnesses in Africa. Despite these achievements though, some remember him as the UFO president. Carter stated that in 1969, he encountered a UFO. He was the governor of Georgia at the time and reported the sighting. While campaigning to be elected, Carter pledged to release all information on UFO sightings, making anything the government knew available to the public. However, he later tried to distance himself from that pledge and his earlier sighting by claiming that there were defense implications if he were to reveal everything that the government knew. Come on, Jimmy, tell us what you found out. Tell us what you found out. Well, as it turns out, not every president has been perfect. In fact, these are just the ones that we know of that have weird secrets. But in any event, make sure you go in the description, go follow Fact Maniac, and subscribe on whatever platform you want to my podcast. It's everywhere. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye now.